Boom. Right. Hey folks. Um, so I've just got myself a new Pix Racer and I'm converting my quad to um, run the Pix Racer instead of the old uh, APM, which I've got lying around over here. This big old beast. Um, done me well over many years, but I want to move to the Pix Racer now. Um, I want to see, so I'm using the old um, GPS from um, the APM 2.6, which is working fine. Um, I want to try and use the old um, power module. Now, the power module looks like this. Excuse me for moving the camera around. It's this one. You might recognize it from if you've got a 2.6 or a Pixel, perhaps. They're pretty standard. You can pick them up off eBay now for really cheap. Um, but there's a little problem I've just discovered with the pinout. So I want to tell everyone about it. So this is the old um, connector. I don't know if you can see this. It's got one red wire and five black wires. Now, look online. It's, there's, a, there's a lot of discussion about the pinout, but basically, as you can see, um, sitting up here, I'm not sure what the focus is like using the Yi camera, but there you go. So that there is your common. Then you've got a voltage sense, a current sense, and plus five volts out, which is what powers the flight controller usually. Now then, the problem is that when you get the Pixel, uh, the Pix Racer, which I've just mounted up here, um, it comes with a cable which looks suspiciously like it'll do the job. So in this case, you've got two red wires, two white wires, and two black wires. So um, with the new connector on the end, um, as all the Pix Racer stuff has, I can't remember the names of these. Um, but anyway, so it looks like it'll do the job, but warning, buyer beware. Um, if you plug it in straight as it is, you're gonna get a nasty surprise. Let me just plug this in for you. So this goes in there, as so. Right, now then, let's power it up. It's all right, I haven't got it connected to anything. And there aren't any speedos, uh, speed controllers going uh, going into the flight controller. So the speed controllers are going to power up, but nothing's going to happen. Right, I just want to show you this because I'm going to get the multimeter out. Maybe you can see the reading on the multimeter here. So let's just get probing. Now then, if you choose any one of the red cables, which should be your plus 5 volt line, because they're duplicated, you see, you have two um, two positive lines, two ground lines, and one current sense and one voltage sense. So you would expect that if I put um, the probe on the red probe on a red cable and the black probe on a black cable, you get plus five volts. When actually, you don't. I don't know if you can see that on the XTAC there, but that's minus five volts. So although they've made a good attempt, our, our friends. Um, across the across the ocean have made a good attempt at getting the right cable here, a useful cable. It's actually not. It, the polarity is reversed. So the way that it plugs into the APM module would suggest that you're going to need to either take that cable apart and rewire it or just live with the fact that it's reversed. So um, don't plug that in under power to the Pix, uh, Pix Racer. I don't know what's going to happen and I'm not going to find out. But if you're um, gonna do what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and lift these little flaps up on the red and on the black cables and just swap them over in the plug and then we should have it correct. Good luck with that guys. Um, just thought I'd give you that heads up. Cheers, bye bye.